Hello Dr. Pi, can you recommend a nice terminal based text editor? Bye. Right, let's look at Micro then, shall we? Micro is a terminal based text editor that aims to be easy to use and intuitive whilst taking advantage of the capabilities of modern terminals. It comes as a single, batteries included, static binary with no dependencies. You can download it and use it right now, which is pretty much what I've done. So, if you would like to see more about Micro, then keep watching. If you wouldn't, then well, that's a bit unfortunate really. Uh, not sure what I can suggest other than maybe go back and look at some of my other excellent videos um, which cover all sorts of topics from web scraping to Raspberry Pi uh, to a DIY CNC machine. Anyway, I digress. You want to be looking at Micro and what it can do. So we've established it's a text editor. Why do we want to even use it? Well, Previously, uh, I've struggled with Nano, partly because it has no line numbers. And when you debug in, it's quite handy to know the line number when you go back into your editor. Um, that was one motivation. Another was uh, just sort of curiosity. And um, another one was just a, a, a sort of a, a quest for more V or Vim-like features in a terminal editor. So. Um, if you want to look at the documentation, you will need to go to github.com forward slash micro. Um, sorry, I can't say that properly. Zyadidia? I don't know, but that's where the documentation is. I'll put a link in the description and you're welcome to go and read that. What I have done though is I've found all of the key bindings and I'm just going to go do a little quick demo of those because as far as I'm aware there's no real guide or tutorial video on YouTube for this which uh, is a pity really because that is what I was looking for. So if you would like to start uh, at the top. I've actually pasted in so without further ado let's just type some stuff and yeah literally <laughs> um, so it really it's a glorified notepad as it stands but what are we about to do um a first thing save so control s saved as test 3.txt i'd already saved a previous version so um up, down, those are all fairly sort of obvious. The, the good ones that uh, you want to get to are the control ones. So, control O, open. And you see bottom left corner offers you to open the file. Control C to cancel. No, sorry, escape. Uh, control S to save, which I just did. Control F. That gives you uh, regular expression capabilities as well. So, um, that is quite nice. If I do CTRL, it finds the first, so it's not greedy. Um, escape out of that. Control N, find next, find previous, undo. Control Z, Control Y, all your favorites. Um, Control T, adds a tab. Um, yeah, page up, page down. That's sort of pretty handy. Takes you back where you were or takes you to the top of the page or up rather. One, two. Um, control B is an interesting one. So that takes you to the shell. So if I want to see all the files in my current directory, back in the shell, press enter to continue. There we go. Um, yeah, so you can modify the, uh, the default color scheme. The default color scheme is dark, so I changed that with set color. And you do that from going to Control L for the command. No, 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 sorry. Control, Control E. And then it was set color. Uh, it was set color 
scheme and then tab yes there you go and it offers you in you see in the uh, highlighted in blue you've got bubblegum cmc16 cmc tc darkula is that a misspelling of dracula i don't know anyway you have to remember those names and then if you want to know the one that i'm running i'm running duke dark dash tc um and then that changes it from dark to mine's not a white background it's a gray background but anyway um oh f2 does save as well that's quite cool ah f3 is fine ah i didn't even know that so there we go working through these is very handy um yes yeah, so if you do control ah, okay so there's the regular expression from where your cursor is okay um oh all e is end of line that's good start of line uh, Or a yep and replace was the other one that I just wanted to uh, where is replace obviously that's quite an important one which I found earlier but I can't find now so that is most annoying and once I found that I will drive off into the sunset but we want to find that don't we 110 commands and I huh, could always do control F replace no. there is a replace command I can assure you because I've, I've done it earlier um, just gonna pause it here and I'll be back in a second Okay, so I found that there's no actual key binding for it or not that I can find. I'm sure I found one earlier. Uh, anyway, you can do Control E, replace, tell a lie, replace mine with line. There we go. Perform replacement, yes. So, control E, replace, replace the word that you want to overwrite, replace brief with long. So a brief tutorial changes to perform replacement, yeah, a long tutorial. So yeah, just do control E and replace and Control C, escape, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, the other thing I was just going to show was Control E, and if you do H split, you get the screen split into two, and you can start another file. So this will be file two. And if you wanted to split that into two, you could actually do uh, V split, and there you go. There's file three, and each one of these editors is a separate. Uh, file that you'll be editing and have option to save so because the cursor is currently in that one it will be file 3.txt and if I do control Q because I've saved it it'll let me quit it so it's gone I do control Q there because I haven't saved it it'll prompt me to save that so yes file name file 2.txt and that's gone back to the one screen so um, yeah that's just a little quick introduction to micro editor which I think is fantastic and you might have seen me use it in uh, one of my other videos so um, yeah that was when I used it for my I know that was uh, not a video but that was uh, an earlier um, actually that was when I was tinkering with the quote scraper which is uh, a tutorial on scrapey.org if you're interested uh, but yeah back to micro I think it's um, very useful and say the line numbers you've got all of the bindings which are really really useful and yeah 
on that note have a nice day Bye.